Hey everybody and welcome to episode 324 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, January 11th, 2017. All right, Ricky, we're one week into the year. Give me the update. How are your resolutions trending? They're pretty good. Yeah. Uh, resolution to uh, slim down a little. I've been eating a lot of chips. So nice, good. nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I, I feel like a chips only diet would, uh, you it's know, nice. there might actually, you might actually lose weight. Yeah. Who knows? Right? You put so much bad stuff in your body <laughs> that your body eventually has to reject it. Mm. I think it's, I think that's win-win, man. Good, yeah. uh, good call. Thanks. Our resolution here at Stadium Comics is to continue to bring you awesome comic books each and every week. Literally, we have nothing to do with that, though. That's all the publishers. They're putting out the awesome books. We're just showing them to you. Well, so, you could put out awesome books. Me? Like, personally? Yeah. Uh, no, man. I leave that to the, uh, the creatives like you, okay? You take care of that and uh, you keep putting out the awesome stuff. But speaking of awesome, awesome stuff uh, being put out by comic publishers, we got a bunch of it to show you today. So, Ricky, let's go ahead and open some boxes. All right, let's start off this week with Die, Kitty Die, issue number four from Chapter House Comics. Spawn, number 269. Outcast issue 24. A new one from Boom Studios. It is The Deep issue number one. From Archie Comics, we have Reggie and Me issue number two. Jonesy issue number nine from the mind of Sam Humphreys. From Titan Comics Hard Case Crime imprint, we have The Assignment issue number one. Here's the spread issue 18. A new one from Image Comics written by Donnie Cates and illustrated by Jeff Shaw. It is God Country, issue number one. And new on shelves today from Dynamite, it is Red Sonja, issue number one, here featuring an awesome cover by the one and only J. Scott Campbell. Okay, moving on to Marvel, we have Fool Killer, issue number three. Doctor Strange and the Punisher, Magic Bullets, issue number two. Here's Silk, number 16. The Mighty Thor, number 15. Here is the variant cover. Guardians of the Galaxy, number 16. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, number 16, is out today. Here is a copy of the variant cover. Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme, issue number four. Great Lake Avengers, issue number four. Jessica Jones, number four. Poe Dameron, number 10. Totally Awesome Hulk, number 14. This continues the Lynn Sanity storyline. And here's Miss Marvel, number 14. Rocket Raccoon number two. Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows issue three. Uncanny Avengers number 19. Steve Rogers Captain America number nine. And celebrating Jack Kirby's 100th birthday, we have this Captain America Jack Kirby cover. All new Wolverine number 16. This cover pays tribute to that classic Wolverine Weapon X cover. Here's Deadpool number 24. Spider-Man Deadpool number 13. Power Man and Iron Fist number 12. Daredevil number 15. Uncanny X-Men number 17 not only features an awesome Ken Lashley cover, but amazing Ken Lashley interiors as well. You definitely want to pick this book up uh, if you're an X-Men fan or if you're just a fan of awesome comic art. Here's Inhumans vs. X-Men issue number two. And we think this is going to be a big issue this week. It is Spider-Man issue number 12. Here it is, the kiss between Spider-Gwen and Miles Morales. Um, you know, playing on that classic upside down kiss in the uh, original Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie, but this time they're both upside down because they're both spiders and they can do that. Um, so yeah, I think a lot of people are going to be looking for this book today um, just because of the significance of it and we've got some variant covers to show you as well. Here's the David Marquez story thus far variant. We've got another variant here, and this is the Richard Isanovi variant. Okay, moving on to today's releases from DC Comics, we have the Batman I Am Gotham graphic novel. This covers um, volume one of the DC Universe Rebirth Batman storyline. Uh, this has got issues uh, 1 to 6 plus the Rebirth issue, so 7 issues total. It is uh, $16.99 US dollars, not too bad for 7 uh, action-packed issues of Batman fun. Also in today is the issue, uh, sorry, book 7 of Dark Knight 3 The Master Race. 
Uh, this is the special collector's edition, which is the black and white version. Not black and white on the inside, just um, the cover, and it's a, and it's a hard cover. They've been doing this for, for each and every book uh, from Dark Knight 3. Scooby Apocalypse, issue 9. Wonder Woman, issue 14. Red Hood and the Outlaws, number 6. Batgirl and the Birds of Prey, issue number 6. Justice League of America, Vixen Rebirth. This is a Rebirth one-shot for Vixen. And the cool thing about it is it is uh, got covers and interiors by our good friend Jamal Campbell. So we're really excited about this book and super happy for Jamal. His first uh, interiors on a DC Comics book. So congrats to Jamal on that. Uh, up until now he's just been on like a whole ton of Marvel books and the Power Rangers stuff. So uh, good to see him. Uh, showing some love to DC as well. Here is the variant for that book. Supergirl issue number five, regular and variant cover. Suicide Squad issue number nine has got Lobo on the cover, as does this variant for issue nine. Here's Deathstroke number 10. Earth 2 Society number 20. Detective Comics number 948. The Flash number 14, regular and variant cover. Here's the variant to Wonder Woman, which I showed earlier. Action Comics number 971. Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps number 12. Here's Titans issue number 7. And this is All-Star Batman issue number 6. New story and new creative team on this book. And this is one I think uh, everybody will be quite pleased with. It is the same team that brought you that great Dick Grayson Batman story, The Black Mirror. With, um, uh, which was of course written by Scott Snyder and illustrated by the team of Jock and Francesco Francavia. Um, so this is going to be awesome, I'm pretty sure. And here's the Jock variant cover for that book. Then we have Justice League vs. Suicide Squad issue number four and the two variant covers for that book. And then finally today we have uh, an interesting crossover between DC Comics and Boom Studios. It is Justice League Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, issue number one. Several variants for this book. Here is the regular cover. Here's the Marcus Toe variant featuring the Red Ranger and Wonder Woman. Flash and the Black Ranger. Cyborg and the Blue Ranger. The Blank variant. Jon Stewart and the Yellow Ranger. Superman and the Green Ranger. And Batman and the Pink Ranger. All right, prize time. Last week I asked you uh, what animal should be fused with a hero or a villain. Well, yeah, it's pretty awesome answers. Ken Ives said the Incredible Hulk combined with an octopus. When Bruce the octopus becomes angry, he turns green and grows huge with eight muscular arms. He rampaged through the ocean, fighting sharks and destroying ships. That sounds pretty fantastic. Keep him away from the anime characters, though, if you know what I mean. <sighs> yeah, you do. Alex the Comic Hoarder said I would blend Wolverine with a koala bear. He's almost the perfect hero, but he lacks the cute and cuddly characteristics that every hero needs. His name could be Wolvala Bear, uh, fierce in the streets and cuddly in the hashtag don't ban me. There's no bans here, just love. So fierce in the streets, cuddly in the sheets. That's what I need. I need Wolvala Bear. Going off of the question, uh, the Mac Phantom asked, don't you guys get tired of Marvel number ones? And the answer is yes. Please Marvel, stop putting out number ones. Let's just get like a continuous story going on. It's pretty ridiculous how they just number things over again all the time. Uh, I think it was the Angela book. Um, they did like Angela and then Angela in Hell and then like a whole bunch of different Angela books. And at the end the writer was like, this is all basically one story. Why didn't they number it all one story? Come on people! But anyways, yes. The answer is yes. I am sick of Marvel number ones. Uh, Alex Cameron, back onto the question, Alex Cameron said, It would be cool if Deadpool crossed with an animal. Just kidding, I'm really tired of Marvel making Deadpool related comics. Right? Right? I feel like what Marvel does is they're like, alright, we're gonna do something innovative, we're gonna do something nice, and people really respond to it. And they're like, people like this new and interesting thing? Let's drive it into the ground. And then they keep doing it until people are like, please, stop. And then they keep doing it, and people are like, seriously, they'll stop. And they do it a little bit more, and then people are like, that's it, I'm out. And then they're like, oh, what? People don't like this anymore. Stop. It's ridiculous, it's ridiculous. Uh, Funk Off said, Tired of his butt being exposed, there was only one thing this baboon could do. Iron baboon. That's great, especially if he just has the metal on his butt. That'd be great. It'd be like IR baboon and 
I am Weasel. You guys remember that show? Cow and Chicken Show? It was a great show. But the winner goes to a guy named Clark Nato, who said, I would blend the Juggernaut with a skunk and raise hell. He'd effectively be a giant bucket of smelly destruction that really, really hard to take down. The world would never smell the same. I would love to see a Marvel Universe destroyed, in fact, shaken to its core by a smelly skunk juggernaut. And then they have to deal with the aftermath of the smell for like years, you know? There'd be like a, the stenchening, stenchening volume two, stenchening volume three, fantastic stuff. So congratulations, Clark Nato. Uh, your name will be entered into the draw at the end of the month. All right, so for today's question, we're gonna talk about the Sweet Spider-Man issue, was it 12? Issue 12. Um, so there's been a lot of couples in comics. So what I want to know from you is what was your favorite couple in comics and why? I think for me, the, my favorite couple is Koi Boy and Squirrel Girl. I mean, they haven't hooked up yet in the comics, but you know, but you know what's happening. So I'm, I'm waiting for that. Ryan North, make that happen. So let us know in the comments what your favorite comic book couple is, and uh, the winner will be entered into the draw at the end of the month. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Uh, please remember that you can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. Uh, Ricky, what do you think of this week's crop of books? I'm excited to dig in. Excellent. But I got a big back issue, so. Oh, you're catching up. Right. Well, let's uh, waste no time then, Ricky, in getting to your back issues. We'll see everybody next week. Enjoy your comics this week, and uh, check us out again for episode 325.